Hey, uh, I figured that I should just directly do webcam videos on YouTube in order to get myself to make videos. Because if I ever use my big digital camera, something always happens and uh, I'm usually too lazy to do anything with it. So maybe in between I'll just do this. I am just doing this video because I just have some ranting to get off my chest. So, as you know, I've been living in Japan. I will probably be living here for a while. My long-term goal here is to study psychology here. Because I want to understand how you can help someone that comes from a community-based culture where they don't really value themselves as separate from the community, like Americans as where Western countries do as individualistic societies. But anyway, right now I'm not in school. I'd really like to be, but I'm not. Um, I have to save a lot of money and practice, get better at my Japanese. Mada makunai no kara. So, yeah. But that's not the topic for today. Today's topic is about dating in Japan. Um, well, I can only say from a gay perspective. So, they have... I live by Tokyo, in northern Tokyo. So, yeah. Anyway, the, the most famous gay place in the entire world is in Tokyo. It's called Nichome. It's in Shinjuku, which is a... Sorry. It's, um, it's in the eastern part, very young part of Tokyo. Um, I used to go there when I first moved to Tokyo because I lived very close to it, and it's very cheap. Um, it was fun. Same as any other gay place in the world, just full of people trying to hook up and, um, a lot of drunken craziness. Nothing really, you know, you're not going to find anything worthwhile there. So, I mean, that was fine. I made some of my first friends there, but I'm, I haven't really hung out with them since I moved to uh, North. Um, yeah, but I had one previous Japanese boyfriend, but what is going on? I don't understand this immediate uploading thing. But, anyway. My first one, we only lasted for two months. Um, he ended up graduating. He graduated from Keio University, which is a very prestigious school, private school, and it has a reputation around here for being a snobby school. And I did not know that at the time, but now I understand because he apparently thought I wasn't smart enough for him, nor was I his type. He, was, he dated me because he thought I was smart, and he thought that... Uh, I was, I don't know, I don't know what he thought, but I mean, he was due on several occasions, asked me to dye my hair blonde and, or go lighter or like wear colored contacts. And I was like, am I not Western enough for you? Is I, it was just weird. So we broke up and he's a little bit crazy. Some of my friends tried to remain friends with him, but it was just, no, not going to happen. Um, I'm worried that this video is going to end. What did, I don't understand this. Um, yeah, so that was my first experience. Two months of insanity. I don't know what I draw, uh, to make these things happen. But anyway, I, I'm kind of popular, I guess, with a certain niche here. I mean, obviously they have to like foreigners, but a lot of them think I'm half here, so... I get a lot. I get a lot that I look like a uh, talent here. His name is uh, Yu Shirota. Um, sometimes I get confused for him on the street, but honestly, I don't think I look like him. <laughs> I don't. We have different noses. He's more. Yeah, he looks more Japanese than I do. But anyway, they think that I look like him, so I guess it's good. But so I get really strange people. And I was dating one guy for a while, but he got very, very serious very quickly. Um, yeah, it was just too much. 
too emotional and I work all the time so it's like it'd be like why aren't you replying da 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 and I'm like I work like unlike most jobs in here I can't answer my phone while I am teaching it's kind of difficult uh so yeah but recently like very recently there has been a string of me trying to go on dates and most of my dates end up canceling on me last minute because of work. Uh, or if it's like 8 p.m. is too late to see me. It's that kind of thing. It seems to be a common consensus with Japanese guys to have a certain level, like how late it can be before they'll decide uh, it's moody, it's impossible to... Uh, come see me and it's really irritating because maybe it'll go on for like two months and we don't haven't seen each other in person it's just like mailing back and forth and it's really frustrating I mean today it just happened to me again like I was trying to see one of the guys that I am seeing um but he canceled on me last minute or yeah so I was pretty frustrated because that happened to me a lot. I've had a case where one of them was like, oh, I will be finished at work at 8. And I was like, okay. So I waited and met with try to meet at the meeting spot at 8. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. There's the last minute work thing. I was like, okay, I'll understand. And he kept on pushing that time back. And I waited until midnight. So I waited four hours waiting around just to see if they would meet up with me. And eventually it didn't happen. That kind of thing has happened several times. It's really frustrating, and it seemed to be a, only something I've experienced in Japan. It never would happen like that in America. Like, it's it's really frustrating, really, really, really frustrating, and can be like a ego, huge ego, like basher when that happened to you. It's like I don't know. It's happened to me so many times that I'm like going to give up on Japanese guys in general because it's just it's not really good for your self-esteem to be I guess stood up on it's just like but the I mean most Japanese guys that I'm seeing are over 30 so they're salary men I can't handle young Japanese guys they're like younger than American at the same age it's just like it's too much I'm older than I like I think older than I am an American standard, so by Japanese standard, it's like even older. <sighs> so, yeah, most of them are working jobs and they do overtime a lot, and it's just like, it's frustrating because they make the choice to do overtime, but they make plans to see me too, and obviously, like, they clearly work precedes me meeting me, which is really frustrating, and it I feel like not many Americans would make that kind of decision. If they wanted to see someone, they would choose that over working overtime. I don't know. I guess it's just a difference of priorities, and they don't... Uh, it's, it's frustrating. Uh, this is probably really boring, but I'm sorry. I just needed to rant about it. Uh, I this happened to me with like I think six different guys now six six so many freaking mm. what is it about me that draw that kind of bullshit Ugh. yeah I just wanted to rant to someone about it hopefully it'll change soon yesterday too. I was supposed to go to Yokohama with someone, but they canceled that just, like, an hour ago. <sighs> Whatever. Yeah. Japan, Japanese people are very punctual, but they also cancel plans a lot because of work. Really shitty, but it happens. Alright, I'll try to update more. Peace.